Hello everyone and welcome back to Miss Hyder's Reading Corner. And today we are still on the topic of taking care of yourself and others. And the book we will be reading is The Magic School Bus Fights Germs. We have fun in Miss Frizzle's class. We go on wild trips. Where will we go today? I can't guess. Are you all right, Wanda? Look at Miss Frizzle's dress. Today we are learning about germs. They can make people sick. Wanda might be sick already. My throat hurts. May I go to the nurse? I think Wanda is learning a lot about germs. Maybe too much. Wanda goes to see the nurse. Is it okay for her to go alone, Keisha asks? We'll go with her. Line up, class, says the Frizz. Are we all going with Wanda? Maybe I should stay here. Germs can make you sick by Dorothy Ann. Germs can be bacteria or viruses. These are tiny things too small to see. Most do not hurt you, but some can make you sick. Miss Frizzle shakes her magic keys. Outside, the bus gets small. We get small, too. The bus flies in the window and we get in. Wanda caught a cold. And now we need to catch Wanda. The bus flies into the hall and finds Wanda. It lands in her box. It looks just like a cough drop. Wanda reaches in to take one out. I'd better take a cough drop. Wanda thinks the bus is a cough drop. She puts us in her mouth. We stop at her throat. We see lots of red and white spots. Those spots shouldn't be here. Neither should we. The spots are where Wanda's throat is reacting to the germs. Where do the germs come from? Asks Tim. Germs get in bodies through openings like the nose and mouth, the frizz says. They can even come through open cuts. Germs get on our hands all the time. Then they can get into us if we touch our noses or mouths. That's why we need to keep our hands clean. Keep them clean by Ralphie. Germs can be anywhere hands go. Germs can be on doorknobs, keyboards, phones, other people's hands and everywhere else. You should wash your hands many times every day. Washing hands should take 15 seconds. That is as long as it takes to sing happy birthday. The bus door opens, we get out. The spots are growing all over Wanda's throat, but Miss Frizzle isn't worried. Wanda's body knows what to do, she says. I wish we knew what to do. I think we're gonna learn. Do we have to? The Frizz gives us special clothes. Follow me, she says. She slips into a blood vessel. We go too. These clothes will stop Wanda from getting germs from us, and they'll keep us from getting Wanda's germs. We are in Wanda's blood. Lots of blood cells are floating there. The red cells bring oxygen, DA says. The white ones help fight germs. The white blood cells are fighting the germs. Is fighting allowed on field trips? This kind of fighting is. Why is Wanda's throat red by Phoebe? When part of your body is sick, it can get red and swollen. That's because more blood goes into places where there are germs. Outside, Wanda is at the nurse's office. The nurse looks at Wanda's throat. It doesn't look good, she says. You need to see a doctor. I'm going to have your mom and dad come pick you up. Can I get picked up too? Wanda goes outside with the nurse. Wanda's mom comes to get her. Get well soon, says the nurse. We'll go see the doctor now. I wish I could be with the class. Don't worry, we're closer than you think. We start to feel hot. Wanda is getting a fever. A fever is when your body heats up. Fevers can help us get well. That's because white blood cells work better when it's warm. The white blood cells are stopping lots of germs, but more are still growing. Wanda's mom takes her to Dr. Wilson. The doctor takes some germs from Wanda's throat. Let's find out what these germs are, says Dr. Wilson. We can test this cotton quickly. A test? Don't worry, you don't have to study for this test. Wanda, you have strep throat, says Dr. Wilson. She takes out a pad and writes on it. You need to take an antibiotic, she says. I'll have to tell my class about strep. We already know. Medicine for strep throat by Wanda. 
Strep throat can be dangerous if you have it. You need a medicine called an antibiotic. Back inside Wanda, Miss Frizzle points at the white blood cells. Something is coming out of them. Those are antibodies, Miss Frizzle tells us. Ant bodies with legs? No, Carlos, antibodies. They help fight germs too. What are antibodies? Bites him. They are things white blood cells use to stop germs. Antibodies stick to germs and stop them from hurting our bodies. Suddenly, we notice something. White blood cells are shooting antibodies at us. They think we are germs. Let's get out of here. I never wanted to be in here. We go back to Wanda's throat. As we get on the bus, our special clothes disappear. Back to school, Miss Frizzle calls. That was close. Wanda's mom picks up the antibiotic. She gives some to Wanda. You'll feel better once you rest, says Wanda's mom. Now the antibiotic will help fight the germs and keep Wanda from getting sicker. Thank goodness. Wanda is going home, but we need to go back to school. I'm getting sick of all this sickness. I see light up ahead, over the tongue, through the teeth. Let's go. Wanda's mom is driving home. Wanda is asleep. Sleep is good when you're sick. It will help Wanda get better, and it will let us get out of Wanda. Wanda's mouth is open. The window is open, too. We fly out. Now Wanda can go get better, and we can get back to school. At school, we make get well cards for Wanda. We don't want her to miss our next trip. Where will we go next? It could be anywhere. Those are nice bacteria on your card, Arnold. Wanda will have to wash her hands after reading it. So thank you so much for watching another read aloud about taking care of yourself and others. And I will see you tomorrow for another read aloud. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.